hoped that my daughter would look after me in old age. <laughs> Which, unfortunately, I will never experience that. There is a lot of things as parents we will never experience. She's my only daughter. Yeah. I will never get the opportunity to walk her up the aisle. Unfortunately, that's all robbed from her and from us. <laughs> Sorry. We're just two ordinary parents. Talking from experience. Talking from uh, an experience where we lost our daughter. And we regret that we could have saved our daughter if she had got the vaccine. If we had known about the vaccine. When our children are born, we all give our, hear about the vaccinations. Our children have to get the MMR, their boosters. But unfortunately, we don't hear about the ones they should get when they reach their teenage years. Unless systems have changed since our children were, were small, we, we don't hear about the HPV vaccines. We would feel that our mission would be over if people would take the vaccine and we'd, be, we'd no more hear about HPV. It would be a thing of the past. It wouldn't be a lovely thing to eliminate. Cancer is it's a desperate disease and, you know, we all say it won't come to our door, you know. It's, it's something another family gets. But until it comes to your door, you don't realise the importance of all these vaccines. It won't work on its own. We need to put in place an awareness campaign that will show the value of it, that will show the alternative to this vaccine. And we are the alternative to this vaccine. We are a family that lost our daughter. The HPV vaccine saves lives. It could have saved hers. We've done our best, but it's a wider problem. It has to be solved, not by us, by other people. It's important that ministers for health and governments throughout the world would make families aware of the value of it, that lives could be saved if they took the vaccine.